Today we will talk about the practical on this bench. So we have 24 practical benches for 24 students. Okay. So now can you see this is the voltage meter. Then we have the ammeter and then the frequency. Okay. Each one have the selection. And this is the on off switch, the start timer, the stop timer, the start motor and stop motor. Indication. This we are getting a 220 volt power supply for the equipment. Right? Then we have the main power. You see? We can switch off power, we can connect power. Then we have our contactor. And this is the additional contacts what we have. Then we have relay. We can explain the function of relay. And this is our electronic overload relay. So like have you seen in starters, we have thermal overload relay, magnetic overload relay and the overcurrent relay. So in current we have a setting. This is the setting for the time. The time is a 1 to 10 second. And this is the current. Current you can have 1M to 5M. And this is the motor. What we have, we are showing the practical. So now, this we are set to uh, say 5 second. This set to 5 second and we have put the current to 1 milliamp or okay. So when it will run, the motor is running. So after five, it will sense how much current is it drawing. If it is drawing more current, then it will not trip. So now we are setting current to say 4.5 amps. And now we are starting the motor. Motor is running. And since our timing of five seconds, nothing is happening because current roll is less as compared to the overload. Now we are reducing the current. Now it is 2.5 amps. At 2.5 amps, it is still running because the current drawn by the motor is less. So we can further to test. We are going to 1 amp. Now it is our sensing. Can you see the red light coming on? So it is sensing that current drawn is more. And we'll wait for 5 seconds. Further reduce the timing. Let us trip. This means the current drawn was more as compared to the setting. And now it is trip. Okay? I hope everybody is agreed with it. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Okay. Thank you.